Good evening, Marisela. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Bien, muy bien. Okay, I'm glad to hear that you're good. How was your day? Um, warm. Okay, uh, you worked. Works. Um, muy cansado, digamos. Tired. Uh, yes. Okay, all right, that's fine. I think that is almost over. Gracias a Dios, ya casi acabamos el día. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, see Carla Angelica, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. How are you, Carla? Very good. Um, All right. Tired. Tired. All right. Yeah. How was your day? Yeah. Um, I was working a lot. You worked, okay. All right, that's fine. See Marina Morales, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Marina, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. How was your day? It's very good. Okay. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Did you work today? Let's see, Carlos Rodrigo. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm uh, fine. Thanks for question. And you? Okay, great. I'm good. Thanks. How was your day? Uh, happy. Thing. <laughs> I don't know. So let me see, Daisy Sarai. Good evening. Daisy Sarai, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Daisy? I'm fine. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear you're fine. How was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Oh, uh, very good. Okay. All right. Excellent. Elme Mauricio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Elmer? I'm fine. Okay. Great. How was your day? So, 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 oh, was it hard at work? Um, because it's, uh, I live in Santa Ana and I work in San Salvador. The travel mm -hmm. is tired. I know, yeah, yeah, that must be tiring. <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay, let's see, Janet, good evening. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are, are you? you? I'm fine. good, and you? Fine, fine. Okay, great. How was your day, Janet? Oh, so, mm, eh, eh, le voy a copiar. Eh, so, 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 a lot of work. A lot of work. Okay, so it was a busy day. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All but right. it was, was, was good, good. 
Yeah, I like okay. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the important part. Nice. Uh -huh. okay. Juan Carlos, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Uh, good, thank you. Okay, excellent. How was your day? <coughs> mm -hmm. oh, my day is good. Was this fine? Uh, I, okay. finished, I finished the platform. Oh, you did? Excellent. Congratulations. I have my uh, certificate. certificate. You got it, okay. Way to go. Yes. Very Thank well. Thank you. Okay. Eduardo Omar, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you, Eduardo? Um, fine. Um, okay. I went to work. Uh, I went to eat uh, ice cream with my daughter. All right, that's sweet. Um, and I, I cook the dinner. Um, and no more else. With that, okay. All right, very well, Eduardo. I'm glad to hear that you did many things today. Okay, so um, I think we may start. Welcome everybody. Good evening to everyone. And let's see what we got for today's class. Well, well today we are going to talk about the present continuous in questions. How to make questions in the yes no form and also WH form. And then we're also going to talk about telling the time. So we're going to learn and practice about how to tell the time in English. And remember, this is our last class, class number 16. And well, to start, we're going to watch this video about the present continuous for yes, no questions. So everybody pay attention, please. And then we'll explain it and discuss it. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to how to make yes no questions using the present continuous. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So 
So let's try to make sense of this. Are you the verb is wear and we add ing to that that'll be wearing a suit. And of course we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is 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 she wearing boots and of course question mark at the end so let's try to make questions now I will give you the subject the verb plus some kind of compliment and you need to write the questions for example, I'm going to give you mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat, and in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the uh, the verb to be is okay so let's see what we get in order to make yes no questions using the present continuous what we do is to change the order of the elements we invert it and instead of starting with the subject we start with the verb be recuerden que para hacer eh, preguntas de yes no eh, vamos a cambiar el orden en la oración entonces vamos a utilizar en lugar de iniciar con el subject vamos a iniciar con el verb be normalmente en una oración decimos you are wearing a suit you are wearing a suit en el caso de la pregunta cambiamos el orden E iniciamos con are. Are you wearing a suit? Are you wearing a suit? And then in order to answer, you could say yes, I am or no, I'm not. The same goes in the second one. Is she wearing boots? Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Or no, she isn't. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. And then you got this prompts to make a question. Can you make it, please? How would it be? We got you eat dinner. What would be the question? Are you? Are you, are you eating dinner? Eating dinner. Very well. Are you eating dinner? And how to answer? What would be the answers, the possible answers? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Or? No, I'm, no not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Very well. Let's make another one using is he. Can you make it, please? Think about another example. He watching TV. Is he watching TV? Okay. And the yes. answers? Yes. Yes. He is. He is. He is. Or? No, he is. No, 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 he, no, he, no isn't. he isn't. He isn't. Very well. And let's continue by making another another one using are they? Are they playing soccer? Are they playing soccer? Very well. And we say for the answers, yes, they are. Or the negative? No, they, no, they, aren't. No, they aren't or they are not. So that is the way we make the questions. We use the verb be at the beginning, then the subject, then the verb in ing, <coughs> and the complement. And that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the practice. Okay, so here I have this exercise I need you to solve. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms as usual. So you work in small groups. And what you have to do is to make um, sentences in three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. 
like this. For example, we have number one, you using your mobile phone now. So we would say, you are using your mm -hmm. mobile no. phone now. Very well. Now make it negative, please. What would be the uh, negative? You are, you are not aren't or are not used in your mobile phone now. Using your mobile phone no. now. And a question. Aren't are you using are you using your mobile phone, mobile phone now? There you go. So those are the three forms you have to use. We make an affirmative sentence first, then we have the negative sentence, and then they ask no question. That is what I needed to do with all of them. We got 10. And um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. So you can work on this. Then we come back and check. Teacher, yo tenía una pregunta. Eh, a los verbos, a todos, solo se le agrega ING al final o hay alguna regla que, que mm. de algún verbo? O a todos solo eh, se le agrega ING. All of them need ING for the present continuous. They all need ING. And remember that there are different cases. For example, we have a verbs where we have to double the last, uh, the last consonant, as in chatting. Then in some others, we only add ing, like wash, washing. And let me see if I have another one with e. Yeah, yeah remember that the verbs that end in e, uh, drop the e in at ing. We got, for example, have, having. And that's pretty much it, but all the verbs uh, have to end in ing whenever you're using the the present continuous. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, I'm sending you to the breakout rooms right now, and I'll send you the picture or I'll send you the screenshot to the WhatsApp group in a moment. Está bien, está bien. ¿Quién comienza? Um, Yo puedo hacer la, la dos. Bueno. ¿Pero la vamos haciendo acá o escribiéndola? ¿La vamos diciendo acá o escribiendo? No, solo, solo diciéndola, ¿verdad? Porque sí, no para que nos alcance el tiempo. Vaya, entonces la dos dice... My dad washing his car at the moment. Eh, la interrogative sería, is my dad washing his car at the moment? Y la negativa sería, my dad isn't washing his car at the moment. Ok. Ah. La, la tres, la hago yo. La tres. Bueno. Vale. Uh -huh. My friend chatting right now. Sería, are, are my friend chatting right now? Eh, la interrogativa. Is, is my friend. Is, 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 my, is my friend chatting right now? Uh -huh. Perdón, ahí le, ahí le falta my friend. Repita, Ryan. Eh, Is my friend friend. chatting right now? Uh -huh. yo, creo, yo creo que es. Mativo. Le falta ahí. Eh, 
Son amigos. Ah, ¿El que me falta? My friend is not just chatting right now. Está hablando de ello. Okay, in that case, it's plural. So, yes, we would change it for are. We would change the, change the verb for are. My friends are. My friends are. Are not chatting right now. Así se dice. Uh -huh. My friend, my friend are, are, are not chatting right now. Mm -hmm. Not Así es. Sí. Yes. Yes. Ahora la cuatro. Yo la cuatro. Uh, I, I, I am working this week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not working this week. I am, am I am I come on am I working this week? Mm -hmm. Está correcto. Sí, yo creo que sí. sí. Yes, that's fine. So in that case you could say am I working? Or if you want to switch the subject to you, that would be fine as well. Are you working this week? Test. So yeah, in that case, you could also change it for you, but with I, it's fine. Mm -hmm. eh, la cinco sería, my family and I are traveling this month. Eh, Are we, are we, verdad, porque estamos hablando de nosotros. Are we traveling this month? La interrogativa, ¿no? Traveling this month. ¿Ok? ¿Te parece? Sí, te digo que sí. Este, sí. yo creo que hay una persona masculina ahí, pero no la veo, no se ve, ¿verdad? Eduardo Omar. Ajá. La seis, ¿o cuál? Ajá, la, la seis le tocaría a él, ¿verdad? Eh, he's visiting his children today. Eh, sería, he isn't visiting his children today. Mm -hmm. y la interrogativa sería is he visiting his children today? Ok. Ok. Siete. Por seven. Sí. Y a Net le toca la siete. Uh, eh, she eating en Arburg, hamburger. No, ahí le falta el verbo to be. She is eating. She is eating a hamburger. A hamburger. She is eating a hamburger. A hamburger. Are, are she, permiten. Are she eating. Is she. Is. Tiene que usar. Ah, is she eating. Uh -huh. Is she? Is she is, es negativa, ¿verdad? Es negativa, ¿verdad? No, interrogativa. Ah, ah, is, 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 is she eating hamburger? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, no, She is not eating a hamburger. Very well, Janet. That is one. Number eight. They are having a meeting today. They are not having a meeting today. Are they having a meeting today? Number 
my my grandparents are buying a new house my grandparents my grandparents aren't buying a new house are are they buying a new house good bye uh, number, number 10 that is writing upon a is study writing upon la negative sería that isn't writing a poem okay finish finish done okay very well we're coming back in one minute Okay, let's wait for everyone to come back. We got 15 seconds. All right, well, so let's check. And we already did number one. How about number two? What's the sentence in the affirmative form? My dad is washing his car at the moment. Very well. And how about the negative? My dad is not his washing car at the moment. My dad is not washing his car at the moment. And the question? Is my dad washing his car at the moment? Okay, excellent. Number three, my friend. Affirmative? My friend is shouting right now. Okay, uh, just uh, look at this. It is a uh, friends. So it's plural. So we would say my friends are chatting right now. Now make it negative, please. My friends aren't chatting right now. Good. And the question? Are, are my friends, friends chatting right now? now? Okay, nice. Number four. I, I am, am working, working this, week. this week. I am working this week. Make it negative. I am not. Working. I am not working this week. Okay. And uh, the the interrogative form. Am I working this week? Am I working this week? Or in any case, because we're using the subject I, you could also change it to Are you? Are you working this week? So that would be fine as well. Then number five, my family and I. My family and I are traveling this month. Are traveling this month, negative. My family and I aren't traveling this month. Okay, and the question? Are, are my family and I traveling this month? Right, excellent. Number six, P. Is the six, he sits his children visiting. today. Okay, he is visiting his children today. Negative. He is not, he is visiting, his children not visiting his children today. And the question? Is he visiting his children today? 
Okay, very good. Number seven, she? She is eating a hamburger. She is eating a hamburger. Negative? She is eating a hamburger. Okay, and the question? Is she eating a hamburger? Hamburger. Very well. Number eight, they? They are, they are having, having a meeting today. today. They, they are having a meeting today. Negative? They are not they aren't having, having a meeting, meeting today. today. And the question? Are they, are they having, having a meeting today? today? Good. Number nine, my grandparents. My grandparents are buying, buying a new house. Okay, the negative form. My grandparents, My grandparents are, are not buying, buying a new house. house. And the question is? Are my, are my grandparents are buying a new house? Are my grandparents buying a new house? Very good. And number 10, Tati? Tati is reading a poem. Negative? That is not right. And the question? Is, is that is that writing a poem? Okay. Very well. So you got them all correct. Any doubts about the sentences we were making? Let me just continue. Okay. All right, so let's move on to video 5.9. This one talks about WH questions with the present continuous. So let's listen to it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. 
Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... Okay, so that is the way to make the WH questions. Remember, we start with the WH word, and then we add the sub, I mean, the verb B, then the subject, and then the verb in ING. After the verb in ING, we could have a subject. Here we have some examples. We got, what are you doing? What are you eating? Where are you going? When are you visiting your, your parents? And who are you inviting to the party? So you see, we always follow the same structure. We have the WH word, what, where, when, who, then the verb in the, the verb to be in the corresponding form, in this case, are, the subject, you, and the verb in ing. So let's try to answer these questions. Let's be creative with the answers. So let's see, number one, what are you doing? What can you say? What could be an answer to this question? I'm studying English. I'm studying English, very well. Number two, what are you eating? What can you say? I am eating a hamburger. I'm eating a hamburger. <clears throat> Next one, what are you going? I am going to school. I'm going to school. Number four, when are you inviting your parents? Uh, when are you, excuse me, when are you visiting your parents? I am visiting my parents on Monday. I am visiting my parents on Monday. Number five, who are you inviting to the party? I'm inviting. My brother. My brother. Okay. All right. Very well. Now let's see. We got some more. Uh, what are you drawing? What can you say here? Like I'm drawing. Uh, a 
hand drawing. Drawing. A car. A car. Okay. It could be anything, right? All right. Very well. So those are some example questions and how to answer. So you see, um, we must provide some information in order to answer the WH questions, right? So let's see, um, let's continue. Now I'd like to move on to, oh, give me a second. Let me go back to the presentation. Okay, here, there is this topic I want to talk about just before we leave. Um, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions using time expressions and practice giving the time. So let's talk about um, telling the time in English. For telling the time in English, we use um, some different expressions. <laughs> the first one we must keep in mind is what time is it? That is the question we use for asking about the time. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Everybody repeat, please. What time is it? Hi. Can you repeat, please? What time is it? Excuse me, can you hear me? Eh, se me estaba cor cortando, casi no Hello. escuché. Dijo que hiciéramos... Yes, it seems I'm having trouble with the internet. It's been raining here. So, okay, eh, let's get back to where we were. So we were talking about how to tell time, right? And then I was telling you that the first thing that we must keep in mind is the question. The question that we ask whenever we need to know the time is what time is it? Repeat, please. What time is it? What time, what time, is, it? It? What time is it? Okay. And then there are some other expressions that we must use in order to answer this question. For example, we have the expression a clock. A clock means en punto. For example, when we say it's three o'clock, it's five o'clock, or it's 12 o'clock. And another one is O. Oh. That one is used whenever we are talking about minutes that go from minute number one to minute number nine. So in this case, we wouldn't say it's 10.5, but it's 10.05. It's 10.05, it's 4.06, it's 9.08. So whenever you have a zero over here, just before the, the last number, you would read it as O. In el caso de la hora, cuando tenemos entre los minutos, tenemos desde el minuto uno hasta el minuto nueve, vamos a leer el cero que va antes del, de la última cifra, o del último número, lo vamos a leer como O. Oh, it's 10.05. Ese no sería solamente it's 10.05, but it's 10.05. It's 4.06. Entonces, siempre que tengamos acá un cero, lo vamos a leer como O. Oh. Then we have the expressions AM for the morning and PM for the afternoon and evening, as you know. We got a... 10.40 a.m., it's 7 p.m., it's 9.10 a.m., right? Then uh, let's talk about some others. So we have, there we have a clock, which we already talked about, in punto. Then another one, oh, here we have an example. Um, it's two o'clock, then Whenever we are here, we would say in a quarter or a quarter past. That would mean y cuarto. Example, it's a quarter past four or it's 4.15. It's a quarter past four, it's 4.15 or it's four and a quarter. 
Next one is um, I cannot see because of the bars. Okay, we have in a half or a half path. That means y media. For example, this one would be it's half past one or it's or, one thirty. It's one and a half. So you could read it in those three ways. Next one is this example, right? We got it's 20 to four. In this case, we use two. So right after the half, we use two. And for example, we say it's 20 to four or it's 340. Acá en esta parte, ya cuando llegamos a que falta tanto para tal hora, utilizamos el two. Faltan 20 para las cuatro, right? It's 20 to four. En cambio, en este lado, donde tenemos la primera media hora, sería past. It's a quarter past four. It's half past one. Then we get to the two. It's 20 to four. Then we get to a quarter two. For example, when we say it's a quarter to 10, it's 9.45. And that will be pretty much it. Let's uh, practice. Everybody repeat, please. O'clock. 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 It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's a quarter past four. It's a quarter past four. It's 4.15. It is 4.15. It's half past one. It's half past one. It's 1.30. It's 1.30. It's 20 to four. It's 20 to four. It's 3.40. It's 3.40. It's a quarter to 10. It's a quarter to ten. It's nine forty-five. It's nine forty-five. Okay. Now let's practice saying the time. And here we have the first one. How do you read this? What time is it? It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Very well. It's nine o'clock. Next one. It's 4.30. Four 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 what would be another way to say that? It's 40 house pass. It's okay, so we would it's say it's 4.30 or it's half past four. Yep, it's half past four. Or we could also say it's four and a half, which is less common, but you can also say. So we got those three ways. Then the next one, let me erase it. Okay, next one, let her see. What time is it? It's two. It's two. Fifty-five. 55. It's 255. Next. Two quarters. It's a quarter. It's two, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Two fifteen. It's two fifteen. And the other way? It's a quarter past. Two. It's a quarter, quarter past two. Quarter past. Very two. well. It's a quarter past two. Next. What time is it? It's 5.08. Next one. What time is it? 6.35. 35. 6.35. 6.35. Okay, next. It's 8.47. It's 8.47. It's 
It's 12.23. What time is it? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, it's 6 What time is it? It's 10 05. What time is it? It's 11 57. What time is it? Letter N. It's 12.32. What time is it? It's 1.44. It's 1.44. And the last one, what time is it? 3.50. It's 3.50. Yes. It's 3.50 or it's 10 to 4, you could also say. All right. Very well. Any questions about this? Any doubts? No. No? Okay. Very well. Okay. And um, so I think that will be pretty much it. Um, do you have any, any questions about anything we have studied in the cars or anything you'd like to check? No sé si tienen preguntas de alguna cosa que les gustaría revisar o de alguno de los temas que hemos visto, alguna cosita que podamos eh, reforzar. You got it? Because if not, that would be all for the curse. So very, very well. Good job, everybody. You did excellent with the curse. And now we're done with Principiante Uno, right? Eh, you should be starting next course soon, Principiante Dos. So congratulations, everybody. It was really nice to be your teacher and to share this with you. So I hope you continue learning English. Keep practicing a lot, please. And I hope to see you soon. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. And congratulations on finishing the course. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good nice night. to meet you, teacher. Thanks. Good night. It was really nice teacher. to meet you, too. Thanks. Good night, Good night teacher. teacher. Take Good care, night. everybody, and continue learning English. Remember to keep practicing. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye